Hey, Seven College Nerds, it's Wednesday, February 22nd, and, okay, in honor of this Pizza John shirt that came in yesterday, I decided to make my uncomfortable video about making pizza, or specifically no yeast pizza because I had no yeast around the house, so that's a bit of a bummer, but let's get this thing started. Alrighty, let's do this. Alrighty, first you're going to want to add in two cups of flour. Yep, just dunk that on in there. And then next you're going to want to add in two teaspoons of baking powder. And then next you're going to want to add in one teaspoon of salt. There you go, one teaspoon of salt. Then you're also going to want to add in two thirds of a cup of milk. So yeah. Just add that in, two-thirds of a cup, mind you, and a quarter cup of salad oil. Now, I used extra virgin olive oil. Not quite sure what the extra means for the olive oil, but it's extra virgin. So there you go. Now we're just going to mix that on up with a handy dandy fork. And it's supposed to get to a really um, dilly consistency because it's going to be pizza dough. Except with the lack of, you know, that stuff, that whatchamacallit yeast. I swear, I always do whatchamacallit. Yeah, so we're just going to mix that on up. And it's going to get quite dilly. So, alrighty. Not uncommon to get in with your hands, so I'm going to do that. So excuse me while I put down this. I divided the dough mix in half because this recipe serves for two pizzas. And I have just sprinkled the whole pan, including underneath the dough, with, um, with some flour. But I'm adding some extra in. And plus, if you add some around the crust, which I rolled in, by the way, then you get a really nice little brown kind of feel to the to the crust because I tried out this recipe earlier just to make sure that it works fine but yeah so there we go and now we must add in our sauce so I'm using pasta sauce and I'm just gonna go like that I want to make sure that I don't put on too much because this stuff is watery because it is pasta sauce ooh that is a lot so I'm just going to take a spoon and spread it like so. Yeah. There we go. Get it all up in there. Now personally, I think I put in too much sauce. I'm more of a cheese fan anyways. I wanted to add a little something extra because I'm in love with tomatoes. So what I did was I took some tomatoes, diced them on up, put some salt on them, some garlic powder, and some oregano so that way it would give it a nice little seasoning and I'm just going to sprinkle that on in there to give it more texture. Yep. Oopy and goopy. That's how I roll. I've had the oven preset to um, 425 degrees Fahrenheit. But now for the cheese, I'm just going to pile it all on up. I love cheese. Cheese is my friend. There we go. So now we have a plentiful mountain of cheese. And we're going to spread that. Just like that. There's more cheese than dough. That's how I roll. Take some of your olive oil your extra virgin olive oil and you gotta take a little brush thing and you gotta brush with tender loving care you gotta brush your um, your dough it'll give a really nice taste to it so there you go a little extra powder because I do like the kind of grittiness that flour offers on dough and there you go into the oven where it shall sit for about 25 to 30 minutes depending on how fast your oven is I'm probably gonna aim for 25 because I have a really powerful oven 
up, so see you in about a half hour. Now, like I said, I really love cheesy, so I went back in about 15 minutes in and I added more cheese. Because, oh, how can you do wrong with cheese? Do you see that cheese bubble? That is magnificent right there. But anywho, yep, the pizza is just about done. So I'm just going to get pelted with hot air and I'm going to take out my pizza. Now, since this was a no yeast pizza, the um, crust will be very um, biscuity, if you will. But yeah, no, that's the way I like it. So, there you go. You have a fancy schmancy pizza in honor of this fancy schmancy pizza John shirt that I got today. So, yay! So, there you have it. One pizza out of seven college nerds. So, Rosilda, we shall see you and your not quite comfortable thing, which I'm telling you that this holding of this pan is not that comfortable because this is kind of heavy. It's kind of heavy. But anywho, Rosilda, we will see you tomorrow and DFTBA.